Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In today's video, we will talk about the angle of elevation and angle of depression. So without further ado, let's do this topic. Let's define first angle of elevation and angle of depression. Let's start with this one. The angle of elevation of an object as seen by an observer is the acute angle formed by the horizontal line and the line from the observer's eye to the object that is located higher than the observer. While the angle of depression is an acute angle formed by horizontal line and the line of sight of the observer when looking at an object that is located lower than the observer. Now, for you to realize and to understand more about this definition of angle of elevation and depression, I have here an illustration of two people standing, yung isa ay sa uphill and yung isa ay sa downhill. So let's say for example, we will focus first on this person. Let's draw a line parallel to the ground from the line of sight of this one. This broken line represents the horizontal line of sight of a person. I think tinatawag natin horizontal line of sight. Ito yung default line na meron tayo when, whenever na naglalakad tayo or nakatayo tayo. Now, itong taong to is may nakita siyang friend below or downhill. So, let's say for example, syempre, ito yung normal na pagtingin niya, tapos nakita niya itong friend niya, and then, nung nakita niya yung friend niya, it will form a straight line going here. Yung tinatawag natin angle of depression, is from this person going to this person. And that angle of depression is the line, or is the angle between the horizontal line of sight and the line formed nung tumingin na yung taong to towards the second person, which is downhill. So, ito yung tinatawag nating angle of depression. Next, what about, sir, the angle of elevation? Kung mag-focus tayo sa person na to, okay, mag-focus tayo dito, mayroon din siyang line of sight. Horizontal line of sight. So, kung gagawa tayo dito, sabihin natin dito tayo. Ito yung natin yung horizontal line of sight. Ngayon, Nasaan dito yung angle of elevation? This angle of elevation is between the horizontal line of sight at kapag nakita na nitong taon to, yung taong nasa uphill. As you can see, mayroon tayong angle between the horizontal line of sight at itong, na, or itong line na, gawa, na buo natin nung nakita na itong taon to, yung taong sa uphill. So this is your angle of Elevation. And based on name, saka sa mismo angle na meron tayo, you can easily identify whether it is angle of depression and angle of elevation. Now, let's solve some problem para mas ma-realize nyo saan ba ginagamit yung angle of elevation and depression. Let's start with the first one. Meron tayo itong problem in which the problem states that at a point on the ground, 50 feet from a tree, the angle of elevation to the top of the tree is 48 degrees. Find the height of the tree. So, syempre, for you to solve this well, kailangan meron kang illustration. Hindi naman kailangan sobrang ganda. Okay? Draw muna tayo ng isang tree. So, generic yung mismo ng drawing ko. I hope na makuha niyo yung mismo ano, concept nito. Yan. Okay? Meron na tayong puno, which is from at a point on the ground 50 feet from the tree magdasay na lang tayo dito ng point from here going semi, from this point going here sa mismong puno is 50 feet daw tapos sabi the angle of elevation to the top of the tree is 48 degrees mula sa point ito papunta dito gawa tayo ng line 
star sa to. The angle of elevation daw is 48 degrees. Ito yun. Ngayon, ang tinatanong dito, find the height of the tree. So, dito ang mangyayari dito guys, whenever you are dealing with angle of elevation and depression, you need to imagine or reimagine a right triangle. From this point, from the this point, ayan, gawa tayo ng isang right triangle, and ito yung hinahanap natin. We are trying to calculate the height of the tree. Ngayon, how are we going to solve this kind of problem? Sir, paano yan? We will use the trigo ratio. Okay, and gagamit tayo ng calculator. Pero ang tanong dito, anong trigo ratio ang gagamitin natin? Now, with respect to your with respect to your angle of elevation, which is 48 degrees, meron kang hinahanap na H or height, and meron kang given na 50. Sa ratio natin, itong mga to, this height is yung ating opposite side. And this 50 feet is yung tinatawag nating adjacent side. So, isipin mo ngayon, ang pagpipili mo, tatlo na lang ha, sine, cosine, and tangent, between the sine, cosine, and tangent, ano sa mga yun ang merong adjacent and hypot adjacent and opposite. Okay, very good. Definitely, we will use we will use the tangent. Tangent. And, ilagay mo 48 degrees is equal to your opposite side over the adjacent side. Okay? Hinahanap natin yung opposite. So, that is tangent 48 degrees is equal to your H kasi yan yung opposite side natin over your adjacent side which is 50 or 50 feet. Remove ko na yung feet natin guys. Eh. Ngayon, paano ngayon ang situation dito? So, simple lang to. You will cross multiply One times h is h is equal to this one. Multiply mo rin ito. Tangent 48 degrees and 50, that is 50, tangent 48 degrees. Actually, you can directly multiply it, pero pinakita lang sa inyo yung process kung paano siya talaga siya gagawin. Para kapag nag-request yung teacher nyo ng uh, correct solution or proper solution, you will be able to show it sa mismong paper mo. So meron tayo, ang gagawin mo lang, open your calculator. Kahit yung normal calculator lang, right now I'm using the Casio FX570 ES Plus. So, 50 muna, press 50, and then tangent, 48. Kahit wala ng degree, 48 na, matik na yan. So, ang makukuha natin dito is this one. Okay? We have 55.53. Ako, normal yung ginagawa ko dito, single decimal place lang ako. So, I will go with H is equal to... 55.5 feet. Ito ngayon yung height ng 3 na meron tayo in this given problem. Sobrang taas, di ba? Okay? So, nag-round off ako. Tama yung round off natin, ha? So, we have 55.5 feet as the height of the given 3. Now, let's move on with the next problem. Para mas maano kayo, masanay kayo. Okay? So, try natin to next problem natin. Now, for our next problem, ito na siya. So, sabi dito, find the angle of elevation of the sun when a vertical post 15 feet tall casts a shadow which is 25 feet, uh, 20 feet long. So, gagawin natin dito, gawa mo natin illustration natin. So, sana okay yung drawing ko. Okay. Uh, pwede naman siguro dito, uh, drawing na tayo ng right triangle para hindi na ako mahihirapan. Right triangle, ah, dito naman yung orientation natin, sige. Tayo natin dito. Ito naman para, sabihin nyo lagi tayong sa left. Yan. Kasi laging right triangle ang mabubuo nyo dito. Yan, right triangle. Ngayon, try natin ha. Sabi daw, a vertical post is 15 feet. Ito yung vertical post natin. Ito yung imagine natin. This is 15 feet. Next, sabi doon, a vertical post, 15 feet tall, casts a shadow of 20 feet long. Hindi ito 20 feet long, ha? Ang ah, 20 feet long natin, kasi diba, yung ano natin, yung shadow na nabubuo ng kahit anong object is, ano, parallel to the ground. Meaning, ito yung 20 feet natin. This is your 20 feet. 
Ang tinatanong dito, find the angle of elevation. Eh, syempre, yung angle of elevation natin na yun dito. Ito yung hahanapin natin. We will represent this one as angle theta. Kasi nandito yung arrow. Nandito yung arrow natin, guys. One. Okay. Pinoy style to, guys. Pinoy style yan. Now, with respect to your angle theta na hinanap natin, anong mga sides yung available para sa atin? This 15 feet is your opposite side. And this one is your adjacent side. Okay? Ngayon, same with the first example, we will use tangent. Kasi yun, yun opposite over adjacent. So we will use tangent. Dito natin lalagay. Tangent theta is equal to opposite over the adjacent. So we have tangent theta is equal to your opposite, which is 15, over over your 20 feet. Okay? Sige, divide natin to. Actually, kaya na to. That is 0.75. Tama? 0.75 yan. Pero pakita pa rin natin sa inyo. We have 15 divided by 20. So that is 3 fourth or 0 0.75. So we have now tangent. Nahirapan ako. Theta is equal to 0 0.75. Ngayon, uh, this one is quite different kasi ang hinahanap natin is angle. So, ang gagawin mo ngayon dito, kami tayo na ibang ng shift dito. So, this will be theta. Angle theta is equal to tangent raised to negative 1 tapos 0 0.75. Ito yung proper solution natin. And to press this to your calculator, wala tayo negative 1, di ba? Nandito yan sa ibabaw. So, you need to Press shift, tangent, then press 0 0.75 or 0.75. So this will give you this one, press equal sign. So meron ko ngayon 36.869. So kung i-round off natin into a single digit sa decimal place, mag plus tayo sa 8 kasi 6 yung katabi ng 8 sa right side. So that would be your angle theta is equal to 36.9 degrees. Ito yung angle of elevation natin na na-form between the line from the ground going to the sun and sa mismong shadow niya. This is 36.9 degrees. So, for the first and second example natin, I'm giving you uh, two elevation pero magkaiba ng approach. Okay? So, let's move on with the last one. And syempre, basically, this would be under angle of depression. Medyo mahaba na yung video natin, pero bear with me para mas maintindihan niyo yung concept about elevation and depression. So let me read the problem. If a person standing to the top of the building of height of 50 feet is looking at her daughter standing at the distance of 30 feet away from the building, what will be the angle of depression formed? So, Dito, this one is angle of depression. Meaning, meron na sa taas, meron na sa baba. Yung person daw, meron daw person sa ibabaw ng building. Siyempre, drawing tayo ng building. Dito tayo, masanay ako dito. Yan, building. Sana appreciate niyo building natin, guys. Yan. Basta building to. Yan. There's a person at the top. And... Tapos, nakita niya rin yung daughter niya standing here. Pero the distance of her daughter from the building is, sabi, is 50, no, sorry, um, 30 feet away. From this point to this point is 30 feet. Tapos, Another information, medyo ta uh, mali tayo sa scaling pero sana makuha niyo yung ano, representation ko. Yung height ng building is 50 feet. Okay? Ngayon, ang tinatanong is yung angle of depression. So, syempre, illustrate natin ang tama yan. Gawa mo tayo ng horizontal line of sight. Okay? 
Tapos, line going here. So, nasan dyan yung angle of depression? Yung angle of depression natin ay nandito, guys. Ito yung papanap sa atin. Gawin natin itong theta. Ngayon, may hirapan tayo mahanap to dahil wala tayong given parts dito. Tinan nyo mabuti. I want you to understand this one. Wala tayong part, wala tayo, ano, pag nag-drawing tayo ng right angle dito, okay, wala tayong given length dito, wala rin tayo, wala rin tayong hypotenuse. So, gagamit tayo ng ibang concept. Okay? So, dito, pwede tayong gumamit ng, ano, ng concept about transversals. Ito. This angle and this angle are considered equal because they are alternate interior angles in the concept of transversals. So, yan. Meron tayo ngayong mabubuong right triangle. Okay? Yan. Now, with respect to your angle theta, dito, dito na tayo mag-focus ha. Angle theta, this side is opposite. Palito ko naman ng marker. This is opposite. This is now your adjacent side. So, medyo ang tayo. Lahat tayo ay puro tangent. Tangent na naman gagamitin natin dito. We will use tangent theta. So, your opposite is 50 over 30. Sige, solve natin to. 50 divided by 30 is equal to 5 over 3. Ah, oh, sorry. Hindi pala kita. Or, in decimal, is 1. So, we have tangent theta is equal to Um, 50 over 30 or 5 over 3. Actually, pakita ko sa inyo kung ano pa yung isang way dito para hindi na tayo mag-round off. Kasi, pag nag-round off tayo dito, ang mangyayari, uh, approximate lang siya. Kawin natin ito. Uh, shift, shift, tangent, tapos kunin nyo itong ano, yung mismong, yung mismong fraction dito. You can input 50 over 30 or 5 over 3. So, we have 5 over 3. Yan. Ito labas natin. So, what we have now is the answer. Yung ating... Automatic na yan, guys, ha? Nag-skip ako ng isang step. Theta is equal to 59.03 degrees. Pero gawin natin itong 59 degrees. And this is the final answer, guys. The angle of depression is 59 degrees. Parehas lang yan, guys, ha? 59 degrees. So, I hope guys, you learned something from this video. And if natuto ka at bago ka lang sa si mismong YouTube channel ko, you can follow me. You can subscribe dito sa si mismong channel natin. And you can also follow me dito sa si mismong Facebook page na meron tayo, which is Ako Si Teacher Gon. So guys, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye!